What did YouTube? It's your boy Bossy, and I'm back with another video, man. Today we got crazy meals consumed on TLCs, my 600 pound life. I can only imagine. And in the thumbnail, it was like just a light meal, 10k calories. No way. It's I don't care who, how many pounds you was. It's no way you taking 10,000 calories and saying it's a light meal. There's no way. We are gonna see though. Just go ahead and start eating right like I should be doing. But then I wake up and I give in right away. My 600 pound life features no shortage of insane recipes. And over the past few months, we here at Plot Twist have been going over some of the best and worst meals that we've seen on the show. I get one of those. No. Well, with 10 seasons to choose from, we found even more wild meals in unjustifiably large portions. So subscribe if you haven't already for more great content like this. So I only get up for limited things, really. The main one being to cook. That's one of my passions. Julian Valentine weighs over 800 pounds at the start of filming, and it's easy to see why. The man is a self-professed master chef, and cooking is one of the few joys he has in life. I would have to say that my favorite meal that Julian cooks for me, salmon when he cooks it in butter, and then he makes asparagus next to it and Brussels sprouts. Interestingly enough, his wife, Irma, describes her favorite meal he makes, and it actually sounds pretty healthy. If he made meals like that, he might might not have ever reached his current weight. What, I'll be trying to figure out, where do you niggas get this money from to eat like this every day? He's very good at making meals that take- That's eight pancakes on a plate with all that bacon, nigga. That, how? How are you doing this? That's just breakfast, too. It's good. The dynamic right now is that he makes whatever he wants, and that's what we eat. Unfortunately, it's clear that he does not make the healthy food all that often. And Irma even says that they basically eat whatever Julian feels like cooking on that particular day. I wait until around 12 o'clock to eat lunch and then I'll snack until dinner. But I feel the best meal of each day is usually the first. The food itself that Julian makes constitutes a typical breakfast. You know, pancakes, bacon, eggs, that sort of thing. But look at how much food he's actually making. And this is just how he starts his day. Julian also says that he has lunch at noon and keeps snacking from then until dinner. Everything is such a struggle. It's just painful to move around right now. As is the case with most stars of this show, even the most basic of daily tasks can lead to extreme pain and exhaustion, and David is no exception. My back hurts, my knees hurt, my feet hurt. The only thing that keeps me going is all the food we just bought. Where do you While work? out and about, you can see how the simple exercise of walking around has completely wore him out, and he needs to make multiple stops throughout the trip. After being pushed to my limits, I usually need something immediate. Hi, can I get two number fours? This thing to spend 400 in groceries and he he immediately goes to a fast restaurant. What is the order is? Uh, let me get one more double bacon western cheeseburger. Tired and in pain, David says that he needs something to help rejuvenate himself and makes a pit stop at the fast food joint on the way home. <sighs> this nigga out of breath. Where does he work? I'm scared that David doesn't have an internal motivation. At this point, Robin comes over and brings a whole smorgasbord of food and drinks just for David. It's typical fast food fare, and it's just the insane portioning that earns it a spot on this list. Food is more than just a pleasure. It's my reason for existing. I can't wait for the first bite of something that will make me forget about all the misery of my life. How many eggs is too many eggs? Trick question. There's no such thing, at least to Dolly. Nigga, they so cheese that big. While cooking breakfast for her and her best friend, Dolly uses 15 eggs just for the two of them. 15 eggs? How many eggs come in a carton? Bro, now that's insane, bro. Every day? Oh my god, Dolly. I'll take an Italian cream one too. Oh, shit. I can't believe she had to have that. <laughs> my mom tries to make me get more fruits and vegetables and meats. Later, while at the supermarket with Shanine and her mother, her mother is clearly dismayed at the food she's buying. Dolly's food addiction is sad, if you really think about it, because that's been like a best friend most of her life. While her mother is frustrated, she admits that her daughter is battling addiction and that it's truly heartbreaking when you stop and think about it. At this point in my life, I know that I am 
uh, killing myself with food, and I know that it's an addiction. My worst fear is that I die and my daughter lives on, and she wonders what life could have been like with mom. I will not let that happen to my daughter. Later on, Dolly herself admits that she has a problem, and we all know that the first step to beating addiction is admitting that you have a problem. Good morning. Good morning, Mom. What would you like for breakfast, darling? Ryan, age 31, has been living with his mother, Tammy, and her boyfriend, Leroy, for the past few years. Every morning, Tammy makes Ryan breakfast, and this morning, Ryan wants a lot to eat. A couple breakfast burritos, some sausage and bacon, and a bagel. Sausage and bacon? Yeah. Bagel, cream cheese? Please. This is a lot of food, but the reason this clip is on the list isn't because of the food itself, but rather the way Ryan describes the process of eating. When I eat, I never want to stop and I never feel like I have to. Because I've never really felt like I was full. Shut By the, the time that I. You've never felt full? This nigga just be over here capping, bro. Ain't no way you never felt full. Finish the meal that I'm eating. I'm already thinking about the next meal. Like when I'm eating breakfast, I ask my mom what we're having for lunch. Later on, Tammy brings home some takeout, and you can see just how much Ryan eats compared to the rest of the family. But it still does depress me at times. The fact that I'm 31 and living with my mom. So I just eat to forget about it and not think about it. But that's what's killing me. By my count, he's got three trays of lasagna and a seemingly endless supply of sauces and or soups, while Tammy and Leroy only have a single container apiece. Coming out of the basement is probably the hardest thing I do all oh, I day. I remember this nigga. So I usually only go up once. And then when I go back down, that's it for the day. Now, I remember this nigga. Listen to what he about to order, bro. It's insane. After leaving his parents' basement and heading upstairs, Mike begins his day by ordering breakfast. Like a lot of breakfast. What can I do for you? I got a pretty big order. So the first one, I'm going to get the Lumberjack Slam Pack. Uh, one of those ultimate omelets. Order the cinnamon roll pancakes. Will there be anything else? The double moons over my hammy sandwich. And then to drink, I want... I want, I want two chocolate milks. If that sounds like a huge order, that's because it is. Take a look at all of it laid out on the counter. Dinner! Bro, breakfast, they only, breakfast don't even taste good for you to be ordering all that shit. Ah, Chinese tonight. Okay. Oh, good. His mother and father. Wait, did this nigga move? He are... Bro, be for real, bro. Father bring him back some Chinese food for dinner at the end of the day. As you'd expect from a man that can eat that much breakfast, he has a little bit more for dinner than his parents do. When it comes to food, it's my comfort and my addiction. Most of the entries on this list are about the quality of food being eaten rather than the food itself. Bianca throws a wrench into that with her dinner plans, but let's start with breakfast. Baby, there's some more pancakes left? No, no, hell no, ain't no more. You ain't getting no more. Mm. Be slow. <laughs> hell no, you ain't getting no more. <laughs> That's who she need on her side. Damn. But my mom would have whooped my ass if I for more pancakes. What the fuck? You gonna make some more? Go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what? Bianca lives with her boyfriend, Ramonte, and the two had weight loss surgery a few years ago. Ramonte was able to keep his weight off. As you can see, it's normal enough breakfast, but that won't be the case for dinner. Mmm, butter bread. Ramonte is back on the stove making, well, I don't even know what you would call this. He starts by removing garlic bread from the oven and putting it at the bottom of the plate and pouring some spaghetti on top. Yeah, I know you want to put it in hot sauce too. No, I don't want a hot sauce, I want ranch. Apparently that's dinner. She seems to like it. I know good and good, I know, I know good and wet it ain't her, her, both her plate. Her kids are staring at her like, where my shit at? Why do you have two plates? Six pieces of garlic toast? Don't only six come in one box? That, I think they be exaggerating bro, just cause, no bro. That's, I really think TLC be exaggerating trying to make it look like they eat more than what they eat, bro. It's no way you, you, you taking that in after you just ate breakfast like, what, five hours ago? And then they snack in between, so it's like, no, bro, I don't give a fuck what they be saying, bro. That's, that's so cap. But that's too, bro, did, look, look y'all not believing me, bro. Look how big these plates was a second ago on the, on the, on the stove. Back on the stove making. That's one plate. And she got two on with six pieces of bread. I don't believe that, bro. And eat considerably less. There isn't a moment where I'm not craving something to eat. No matter what I'm facing, food will make it better. Nathan begins every day by making breakfast. And you can see that he's loaded up. When I'm eating, it's you for it. It's like it's feeling a relief from whatever negative emotion I have going on at that time. And so even though a meal like this will make me really full, 
but keep eating and eating. The former theater teacher makes two whopping plates loaded with sausage, biscuits, eggs, and bacon. Hey. Hey. Thank you for picking up the food. Welcome. His wife, Amber, brings home takeout for dinner, which isn't bad on its own, but she does talk about how much his eating habits disgust her. He would eat his food. He would eat an appetizer. We would have a dessert. He would eat my leftovers, and it would make me just absolutely just disgusted. When Nathan decided he didn't want to try and lose weight anymore, I told him I was disgusted with what he was doing, and I basically told him he was an embarrassment. Listening to how he normally eats is easily enough to justify a spot on this list. Man, I'm not poking no fun at people like this, because I know it's a, it's a disorder that people have, and that, you know, they're on this show to fix it, so I'm not making fun of it, but it just, it baffles me to see that. But what it be is it's like when you don't when you don't have those people in your life that tell you to stop. Enablers is what they call them when they just let you do what you want and then it becomes a big problem. Then this happens, you feel me? But uh I'm sure if you're on the show, some of them that were on this show lost the weight. So shout out to every single one of them did that and anybody that's going through it. But man, it's no way they was eating this much. That last one was crazy, bro. You seen that was breakfast, bro. And, and I, don't, I, I'll tell you, bro. I don't even be eating breakfast mainly, mainly because I don't like making breakfast. I don't like cooking for real. But like, like out of all foods, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I'm not like breakfast is weak. Like everything you eat in breakfast, name one good thing that's good in breakfast. And don't say cereal. You lying, bro. Nothing in breakfast sounds good. Lunch, all right. You know what I'm saying? We could, we could work on that dinner. That's really versatile. You can eat whatever you want, but like breakfast, and that'd be like they be going crazy on the breakfast. Baby, so she eat 15, 15 eggs, and then she get like two handfuls of cheese and put on the eggs. Don't taste that good, bro. I promise you, eggs don't taste that good. I don't know. Smash the like button. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. That is insane. I know I'm wasting my time. I know I ain't crossing the line. I know it's pushing the shot when shit the fan. You gonna stand on the dime. I don't smash my own post. And I'm always gonna go. If I'm sick and you fake like so, I'm high life. I come close my rope. I know you bitch. I know you a op. I know you fool.